Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Let me ask you, which bank should you start with when you're trying to get business credit funding and personal credit funding? So you're choosing between Chase Bank and you're choosing between American Express, all right? So let's look at Chase, all right? So with Chase, they have some nice credit cards. And what I mean by nice credit cards is these credit cards, you're not paying any interest on balance transfer and purchases like they have the chase slate card right 18 months zero interest on balance and transfers right then you have the chase sorry about that guys then you have the the chase freedom flex now the chase freedom flex is 15 months zero interest on balance transfers and purchases right then they also have the chase freedom unlimited which is 15 months, zero interest, okay? Now, here's the thing about it with Chase that people look at it, well, with Chase, because of that 524, five months, uh, excuse me, five open revolving accounts within a 24 month period, then you can't apply for any other credit cards, right? Now, the good thing about it, like with Chase, you can get a business credit card like with their chase inc business credit card you can get those credit cards around 660 credit score right and and the average business credit card with chase starts at about between three to five thousand dollars depends on the relationship you have with them now here's the thing about it with chase that makes them stand out better than american express because with chase to my understanding they report to if you say that you're building up your business credit right so they report to experian business equifax business small business financial exchange and that information shared with dunn and bradstreet so they report to four different business credit bureaus now the key to building up your business credit especially if you're going for funding i'm not talking about trade credit i'm not talking about net 30 i'm talking about actual funding visa american express now in terms of that funding one of the key things i always tell you guys make sure that you're doing either daily or weekly deposits the reason is this helps with your business bank rating all right this is so important and a lot of people miss this opportunity to actually help them build up their business credit now with chase when you start with chase they're more likely is going to pull your experience and a trans union to start out with and they say uh five eight okay now the interesting thing about it with the credit wise that chase gives is a vantage score a trans union Okay, so they'll give you a TransUnion Vantage score, but they actually pull your FICO score, your Experian and TransUnion FICO scores, FICO 8, all right? Now, here's the thing about it. Let's look at the American Express side of it, all right? So with American Express, they will allow you to do a pre-approval. Even if you don't have an account with them, you can do a pre-approval first to see what credit cards you have. Now, some of the best credit cards that American Express have they have the American Express uh, blue, blue card, right? The blue cards. They have the American Express uh, blue preferred. Now, that's uh, zero interest for 12 months on purchases. However, they have two other cards that I think is very good, which is the American Express blue cash every day. And it's 15 months, zero inches on balance transfer and purchases then they have the american express cash magnet which is 15 months okay so it's 15 months zero interest and on on purchases and balance transfers as well now the thing about it chase offers more credit cards with zero interest on balance transfers okay so you you're not going to pay as much but here's the thing about it with chase for every credit card that you apply for they're going to be doing a hard inquiry on your credit file okay so with most of their cards even like with your uh say you go for the chase slate so that's Experian pool your chase freedom flex that may be your experience in transunion then your chase uh, freedom unlimited they may pull your experience all right now like i said because they do the 524 
and you're trying to get funding from them and you're trying to get funding from American Express, who do you go with? I would tell you, uh, if I'm trying to get personal credit funding, business credit funding, then I would start with Chase because they have that 524 rule. Now, here's another thing that I like about American Express to help you out. With American Express, once you have a credit card with them, then when you apply for other cards, what they do, they do a internal data right pull they do an internal data pull to help you qualify without the extra inquiries on the credit file all right now one thing somebody asked me about navy federal and, and i wanted to just clear up something um, navy federal do does have or does offer excuse me they do offer a uh, american express navy federal american express card however because it's a Navy Federal American Express, that does not mean that you are building a relationship with American Express. That's only because Navy Federal and American Express are co-partnered cards. So although you may get the American Express card and you can get that with a 580 credit score, again, because American Express, they are about relationships, okay? They're more about the relationships where Chase and uh, American Express themselves, they are about the credit score and about the income, all right? And those are some of the basic factors between them. Now, like I said, with American Express, they offer personal loans. So with their personal loans, if you have a card with them, they won't do a hard pull on your credit file. So it's a soft pull. Also, if you have an account with them with their business lines of credit, their cabbage business lines of credit with American Express, they will do a soft pull, okay? And with their business lines of credit, uh, your income has to, you have your business has to be making 33,300 a year, okay? So averaging about 3,000, basically about 3,000 a month, okay? But you have to have an account with them for at least a year before you even apply for it, but it's a no hard pull. Now, one of the key things I tell you in terms of dealing with Chase, I always tell you, if you can, go inside the branch with Chase. Let the banker put in the information. If you don't have any revenue in your business, then it's 100% off of their uh, personal credit, right? and your household income but you let them put in that information because if something comes back that's questionable then because 